The VW Beach Buggy is one of those icons in the motoring world, isn't it? But like a lot of icons, it's been confined to the history books. It's dead. But it may not be for much longer because VW has just produced this. It's a concept beach buggy called the ID Buggy. But before I tell you exactly what it all is and the whole story, make sure you subscribe to the channel, switch on those notifications and leave your comments below. Now I'm on the beach in Monterey in California, hence why it's probably a little bit windy, but hopefully you can hear what I have to say to you because this is a very special car. Now it's the ID Buggy and underneath the very flamboyant bodywork, it uses Volkswagen's new MEB platform. Now that's their electric architecture. We're going to see it rolled out into a, a vast number of new cars, the first of which is the new ID3 hatchback arriving next year. This is a concept only at the moment, but doesn't it look absolutely fantastic? It looks exactly like the original beach buggy, doesn't it? Now part of that is this floating green bodywork and it just looks so cool, so contemporary and also so retro, doesn't it? Now, it's powered by a 201 brake horsepower motor at the back, driving the rear wheels, and there's a 62 kilowatt hour battery in the middle here. Now, you can make it four wheel drive. VW would put a 100 brake horsepower motor at the front if you so wish, but at the moment, it's only rear wheel drive. Now, that gives you a range of around 155 miles. 0 to 60 is just over seven seconds, but that's not really the point of this car, is it? Because just look at it. It's about what it makes you feel, and it just will put an enormous smile on your face. Now, the interior is completely back to basics minimalist. Just like the original, there's just a steering wheel, a dashboard, and two seats. Now, these seats are washable. They, uh, they're waterproof, you can wash the entire car out, which is good because this car's full of sand at the moment. There's a drain plug down there. Have you seen the pedals? There's a, there's a pause button for the, uh, the pause pedal for the brake and there's a play for the accelerator as well. Now, like I say, it's all washable, lots of plastic. It's just really simple back to basics. Now, is VW going to make this car? Well, at the moment, they've got no plans to. But I wouldn't be surprised if they do. I wouldn't be surprised if they get a, another manufacturer, a startup or a, an entrepreneurial firm to actually partner with them and put this into limited series production. Because let's face it, electric cars need to be sexy, don't they? And this is, well, is it sexy? I don't know. You have to leave your comments below. But it is fun. And that's what this car is all about. Now the first thing to tell you about this car is it's absolutely chuffing cold. Yes, it may very well be California in the height of summer, but I am absolutely frozen. But I'm British, so I shall carry on. Now the other thing to tell you is that this feels a really well put together concept car. Now I've driven lots of concept cars in my time, lots of show cars, and they all have one thing in common. They're all bloody awful to drive. They creak, they rattle, they're just not geared up for driving, but this does. The steering feels good, there's no rattles. The whole thing feels really well put together. It actually feels production ready. And essentially it is really because it's based on that MEB architecture which is going to be appearing very soon next year in the ID3 hatch. It's simple plastic body panels. The whole thing could be put into production tomorrow. Yes, they would have to probably sort out a little bit about the dash and the various bits in here. Probably would have to fit doors. Not quite sure whether they would have to under legislation. But anyway, it does feel pretty production ready. And it's fun to drive as well. The steering is really very light and accurate. It rides well. Now, the suspension has been tuned to go off-road, of course, but it feels a really good and fun car to drive. It's quick, too, actually. Now, we're only limited to 35 kilometres an hour. But despite that, you feel as though this could really get going. Now, VW say the top speed of this car is 99 miles an hour, range is 155 miles, that's WLTP rated so it's accurate and uh, yeah it doesn't need to go massively fast this car, it also doesn't need to go massively far, 155 miles is pretty good by EV standards let alone something that will be a Saturday car or a weekend car. Now VW can make this car. Now they've already confirmed there's going to be five cars on this new MEB architecture. There's going to be the ID3 hatch which is the golf sized one which is the 
the most important one really because that's sort of VW's Tesla if you will there's also going to be a small SUV a large SUV inevitably there's going to be the uh, saloon as well and most excitingly of all there's going to be a return of the split windscreen camper but there's room for a sixth surely isn't there and this should be it because let's face it Electric cars, they're not sort of they're not sort of sexy or fun at the moment, are they? Yes, Teslas are massively sort of exciting and also quite premium and all that kind of thing, but they're not sort of fun, are they? This electric cars don't really have a sense of humour, do they, at the moment? But this could be the antidote to that, couldn't it? Come on VW, do what we all want you to do and actually put it into production. Now, we're in the middle of car week, we're on the 17 mile sort of coastal road and there are loads of cars here, Porsches, Ferraris, Mercedes, and this car gets so much attention, I don't know if you can see here, but there's all these guys here who are all massively interested in it because this is a cool car, isn't it? Not only is it a beach buggy, but it's a concept car as well. And it's a proper concept car, revealed at Geneva Motor Show in March and you don't get any more concept car than that, do you? And the fact that it's all electric is even better. Despite mine and other people's love for this car, whether VW actually build it or not is another matter. Essentially, the ID buggy is a clever one-off to show how flexible its new MEB platform is. Volkswagen has already signed a deal with Ford for it to take the MBB architecture and build its own range of electric cars wearing the blue oval badge. And the buggy is a nifty way of showing what could be done. It's a pristine, set-dressed home in a new housing development, if you will. However, there are signs VW is warming to the idea of building it, whether by building it internally or by licensing it to low-volume manufacturers. Whatever path Volkswagen chooses to take, let's hope they build it. The future is very exciting indeed. Click the video window on the left for a drive of the VW ID3 concept car and on the right for our first drive of the VW T-Cross SUV. Click the Auto Express logo to subscribe to their channel and as ever, thanks for watching.